today we're going to be talking about um, the basics of money. All right, everybody uh, has to make money in order to survive. Most of the time people um, get money by uh, getting a job. Uh, but sometimes people get uh, income from the state, like Social Security, whatever the case may be. We all know that we need uh, a monthly income to survive, and and that's what we and that's 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 what we do. We get jobs, we get monthly checks from the state or some type of assistance. Um, but we are never really taught uh, uh, about money and how to to invest money or how to you know, just how to manage money. And so that's what I'm going to be talking about in this series. Um, and we'll start with what, you know, people usually do. Um, and, and what I would like to say, uh, initially is that, you know, it's not really about how much money you make is what you do with the money that you make. That's important. And, you know, this has been my experience with, with money. I, I'm not a, uh, a licensed uh, financial advisor or anything, but this has just been my experience with money and, and things that I wish somebody would have taught me, you know, when I was growing up. Um, so, and, and oftentimes we don't learn these things unless we're a finance major at school or something like that. But, all right, so you have income. You have a monthly, um, this is how things usually go. You have a, Monthly income, no matter how you get it, whether that's a job or some type of state or federal assistance. And let's just say let's just say your monthly income is two thousand dollars. Now, out of that you have to pay bills, right? So, the bills that people usually have are, let's see, telephone bill, or let's say cell phone bill. Let's say that's $50. Fifty dollars. Um, you have your rent. Um, some people are rent, you know, rent slash mortgage. If you don't, um, you're living with family or somebody, then you don't have this expense. But uh, let's say that's. A thousand dollars. That's cheap in LA. Um, you have your uh, electric bill, LA DWP, Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. That's what that stands for. Let's say it's two hundred dollars a month. Um. You have, let's see what else would you have. Uh, maybe you have a car, a uh, car note. You may or may not have people, you know, this. So you do. If you have a car, you also have to pay car insurance. Car insurance. I'll say a hundred dollars a month. I'm just doing these uh, numbers, you know, making them whole numbers for math purposes. Um, you have to eat, right? Let's say you have uh, you grocery shop weekly. Let's just say. Let's just say your groceries are one. Let's say they're two hundred a month. Um, I 
also I forgot yeah if you have a car you usually need gas unless you have an electric car but let's just say gas right now say that's 200 a month let's see what else um, I don't that's that's just let's just well actually you know you want to uh, go out sometimes you want to go to the movies you want to just miscellaneous cash you, you spend let's just put entertainment you know movies clubs whatever just whatever extracurricular activities you may have let's say 200 all right so there you know let's oh no internet you have an internet bill let's say that's let's just say that's forty dollars a month and let's just leave it at that right now but we could go on it could be you know you could have your 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 cell phone on a monthly payment plan so you could have a bill for that you could have more than one car you can have it's a lot of different bills you can have but let's just keep it simple right now um but most most people have it, at least these bills so if we add those bills up which are also you know called expenses uh, equals um Let's see what that uh what the total is for your your expenses. Total monthly expenses. This is how you budget. Total monthly expenses. So fifty and a thousand. Let's let's just get the big numbers out the way. Thousand plus two hundred, twelve hundred plus three hundred is fifteen hundred plus another hundred is sixteen hundred plus food is eighteen hundred plus gas is two thousand plus internet entertainment is twenty two hundred and then internet and phone is twenty two ninety twenty two ninety okay so in this situation. That means that every month you're 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 negative two ninety. So their income uh, minus your expenses in this scenario leaves you with negative two hundred ninety dollars. And so let's put that in red because that's not good. All right, so what do people, oh, what do most people do in this situation? You have a couple different options. You, you know, you, you can cut down on your bills, right? Which is called, you know, budgeting. You could cut down on your bills. You could cut down, you could say, uh, that car is too expensive. Uh, I'll I'll get rid of it. Or you can cut down on the food, or you could not drive as much, or you can cut down on your entertainment. You could not have internet. You could you could look for a different place to to live that's cheaper. So you can cut it down to get to where you're positive. But right now, let's deal with you being in the negative. What most people do is when they're in the negative. They'll get a credit card and that extra, uh, that negative 290, they'll use a credit card. Uh, they'll, they'll charge uh, on a credit card the, the money that they need when they don't have it. 
Like they might pay for their food or gas or entertainment on a credit card. Uh, so now the problem with that is that um, that creates another bill for you and the credit card charges you, I don't know, anywhere depending on your credit, um, uh, anywhere from 16 to, you know, 29.99% interest on the money. So what that does is it'll create another bill for you. So you charge, you keep charging it. Let's say you, let's say you live for a year like this. And that means you're, you're, you're charging an extra 290 a month on your credit card. So, um, 290, let's do it all right quick. Let's see. 290 times 12 equals 340, three, $3,480. So, in a year, you'll have charged uh, uh, three, three, whatever it was. I think it's thirty four eighty. And so then you also have to make a payment on that thirty four eighty. So and say if you make the minimum payment. The minimum payment on that credit card may be, you know, I don't know, $35. But at if you only pay the minimum, so you're going to add $35 up here. Credit card payment. Minimum. $35. But at $35. Um, at thirty-five dollars um, uh, a a a month, you'll you'll never pay that balance off because you're getting charged twenty-nine point nine percent interest rate. So it might take you twenty years to pay off that balance, and then plus you have to add that negative thirty-five to the negative two ninety. So you just in more of a hole, and you'll just keep going, you know, owing more and more and more money. And that's how people get to the point where they never can get ahead. So what we don't want to do, there are different credit card strategies that you can use later on. We'll talk about, but what you don't want to do is have your expenses be more than your income or else you're going to get yourself into a hole like this. So you need to budget to where your your income is at least more than your total monthly expenses and so that's the first thing um the first uh lesson is budgeting so to to be in the positive every month all right